Hey everybody, Lance Goyke here. Today I want to discuss the upper traps in the horizontal rowing variations. So um, when, I, when I take my arms back like this, oftentimes one of the biggest mistakes people make is they shrug their shoulders up towards their ears. Now, I have to, I have to ask these people silently to myself when I'm training them, can they even resist the urge to do that? Um, and I want to leave that as a little teaser. We, we might get into that later on. Basically, when I'm doing my row, I want these upper back muscles, the rhomboids, which we've talked about previously, and the trapezius muscles to pull the shoulder blades back together. Now, we generally break the trapezius, this big diamond muscle in your upper back, into three sections. Uh, one is these upper sections, which also pull the shoulder blades up. The middle sections more um, are more oriented toward bringing them together. And then the lower sections uh, tilt them upward and bring them downward. So all of those can be very important for different exercises. I still want to involve the upper trap slightly when I'm doing my retractions. It connects to the, the uh, clavicle muscle here or the clavicle bone here, and it helps me pull those back. But if I get too much recruitment of that, I'm going to start seeing those shoulders ride up. I'm going to see extra tension in the neck, and I'm not going to have uh, the best position for the shoulder to be rowing in, right? I'm more likely to feel shoulder pain while I'm doing rows and stuff. Okay, and, and you know maybe not even during the row, but maybe during the rest of your life. So we want to look at that, right? We don't want to let the shoulders ride up too much. And so the basic cue is, hey, just set your shoulders down, go really slowly, try to feel it out. And I, I want you to get your row and I want you to try to get a little squeeze at the end. And if you feel it in your middle back or your upper back, then that's good, two thumbs up. And if you start to feel it in your neck, then okay, you're, that's probably telling you that you're shrugging your shoulders up a little too much and you should either back off the row, not try to force too much, because maybe you're running out of motion and your shoulders are shrugging up to get that extra motion or that extra squeeze, or um, maybe you just need to stabilize some stuff. Now, the teaser, so sometimes, you can't get your full range of motion and it feels like you're not doing anything. And that's because the rib cage is so wide that the shoulder blades can't swing around very well. They, it, the, the rib cage should be kind of circular. It's more of an oval, but kind of circular. And what happens is it starts to look more like a sandwich. And so I can't get all of this motion. I can't get that full squeeze in the back because nothing is stabilizing it because it's so thin like this. If I have this rounded position, then my round shoulder blades have some sort of stability, some place to sit while I do my rowing stuff. Okay, and so maybe I'm trying to get that squeeze, but I'm running out of room because my back is so flat and I'm starting to elevate my shoulders just as a substitution, just to try to, because I'm a task oriented human being, just to try to do what my trainer is asking me to do. Okay, so might not totally be your fault. You might not have the ability to do it. So you may need to look into changing the position, the orientation of this rib cage. You may need to make it a little bit more round, right? I may not want to sit up straight all the time because maybe that's making the problem worse. And instead, maybe I need to learn the appropriate times and the appropriate amount of slouching to have during my lunges is a big one, during my push-ups especially, and during something maybe a little bit more simple like a plank. Okay, so Try those three exercises out if you're having those issues. Um, basically, to recap, the upper trap is not often that desired. I need a little bit of it, but I shouldn't be feeling it during the row. 
Um, if I am, I might be forcing too much motion or I might just not have that motion available to me. So try to cue the shoulders down during your row. If it's not helping you feel those middle back muscles, then maybe start to look into other exercises to help reposition your rib cage, like the push up, the plank, and even some lunging variations with the, an appropriate amount of slouching. Made a ton of videos, a hundred about pushing and handstands and stuff, and then a hundred about squats and stuff, and there's some unilateral stuff in there. So go look through those and master those exercises, and then maybe come back and try the row again later.